the black sheep. Number three. Number three, I have House at the End of the Street. Ugh. One of my all-time favorite movies. It has been one of my favorite movies for the longest time ever. Yes, that one's actually good. Like, when I, if you go back and watch it, you're not going to be disappointed like it's idiots. Yeah, like, I can... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have rewatched House at the End of the Street multiple times, and every time I watch it, I love it. Yeah, it's a really good movie. And I remember watching it the first time and just, like being like just how you don't see like what's to come you know it's not really like a predictable Mm -mm. movie there's a huge Um, twist also in the middle mm -hmm. so and i really really like that and you also met one of the actors in the movie yeah i forgot about that (laughs) so tell us about that um so i was working at chipotle chipotle no i wasn't no i was working at qdoba the fake chipotle (laughs) Um, I was working at Kidoba, which is just as good. Okay, don't hate on it. They have free guac. Um, <laughs> Kidoba was alright. <laughs> but yeah, I was working, and he came in and ordered a burrito, and I was like, he was wearing a hat, like one of those like baseball caps. Mm-hmm. So like I couldn't see his face much, but when he came up, and like obviously I was taking the order, so I saw him, and I was like, holy fuck, that's him. <laughs> And then she was like, hi, can I get a burrito? And I was like, yes, you can. Do you want anything else? For free. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, it was so cool. Wait, hold and on. I you want anything else? <laughs> What's happening right now? <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> I, um, I didn't say anything to him like, oh, my God, are you? Or, oh, my God, I know who you are or whatever. Like, I didn't want to fangirl because I was working and there was, like, a lot of customers and there was a line. And I... 